Hey you guys, so today's video will be a video, a video, today's video will be a video. <laughs> today's video will be a tutorial using all affordable products to create this here fall look. Fall is officially upon us or it will be like the day after this goes up. I think the first day of fall is September 22nd. If you know anything about me, you know fall and Halloween and all of those things are just when I really start to become a human being. I'm excited to put out a lot of fall tutorials. I am stoked. Not to mention Halloween videos. Although, full disclosure, I don't know how many I'm getting out this year and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any really, really cool ones like I've done in the past because I am a one-man show now. When I was in Georgia, I had a lot of friends and family around me that I could like commission to come help and be actors in my videos. But if it's just me, it's a little bit hard. So I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll have to just see how it goes. I'm going to take a moment to share my condolences and positive energy and thoughts towards everyone that's been affected by these freaking horrible natural disasters that have been happening um, between the hurricanes that are still on the way and what happened in Mexico yesterday. I'm just so saddened and just can't imagine the impact that something this just catastrophic and epic and completely out of your control, like what that must feel like for the victims of this. And I just want you to know that my thoughts and prayers are with you. And the criteria for the giveaway is you have to list down below a resource or a donation center, either in your community or a organization that is doing some type of work to help out with the victims of these tragedies. Um, I think the more information we get out there about them, the better, the more likely people are gonna be able to contribute. In a perfect world, you would do your due diligence and make sure these are reputable and um, stand-up organizations. Unfortunately, in the most disgusting, like ironic twist, there are a lot of charities out, th charities out there who aren't actually giving all of the resources and money to victims. Whether you're someone posting a link to something or you're actually looking for someone to donate to, just make sure you do your research and please help if you can in any way. I'm sure that the people on the other side of this would appreciate it more than you would ever know and I just hope everything works out for everyone. So for the second place winner, I have this box of goodies from Pixie. They sent me this box recently and I just so happened to already have everything that's in here so I thought I'd pass along the good times on to one of you guys. This contains the Pixie Double Cleanse Cleansing Oil, the Pixie and Aspen Ovard Glowy Powder, the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic, the Pixie and Marion, I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly, Maquillage um, Contour Palette, and also the Pixie and It's Judy Time eyeshadow palette, which I used in this video. So that is for the second place winner. This is the first place prize. There's a lot of goodies in here from BH Cosmetics. They sent me a ginormous, extremely generous, sorry I had to put that down, um, PR package, and I went through it. I picked out everything that was either in my color or something that I would use or I am drawn to and the rest of it I'm gifting to one lucky winner. I decided not to keep anything from BH Cosmetics that I either had a dupe for or that I just flat out probably didn't see myself using or it isn't the type of makeup that I'm into. Um, I did keep a good chunk from them that I can see myself using over and over and over. I use a lot of BH Cosmetics in this video as well and some of the things that I use I could see just consistently going back to time and time again. I want to let you guys know that I did partner up with Catrice Cosmetics to present this video to you guys. I have worked with them before and I do think that they are an incredibly priced, well done product line. You can find them at Ulta. Make sure you check out and follow Catrice on their various social media platforms to stay up to date of any new product launches they have coming out soon. In order to enter the giveaway, you either have to be subscribed to me on my channel or um, follow me on Instagram. It doesn't have to be both, but each one of those represents a different entry because to enter here on YouTube, you would leave down below the information of a charity or organization that others can reach out to and dedicate either time, goods, or financial um, assistance to people that are affected by the hurricanes and other natural disasters that we're being kind of ravaged with lately. On Instagram, you would need to share the image that I will post affiliated with the giveaway on your own. Instagram account and you cannot be private the day that I go to select my winner. If you are private, I cannot see it. I cannot do anything about it. Um, on that particular one, you don't have to leave any information about the hurricane relief, but if you have any and you'd like to share it as well, that'd be a great idea. Or you can tag them, whatever 
you want to do on Instagram um, is fine, but definitely if you enter on YouTube, you have to link or list some sort of help that is out there that others can get involved in. So those are the qualifications. Before we get started, once again, make sure you are subscribed, thumbs up the video if you enjoy it, and don't forget to check the down bar so you can find my information about Snapchat and Instagram and come hang out with me there. So without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, guys, we're gonna get started. If there's any products that I do not have a drugstore version for in front of me, I will just skip that step. I know that I do not have an eye primer that is drugstore off the top of my head. One of the brow products that I'm gonna use it's not drugstore. I don't normally do talk through tutorials, so I hope I do a good job. You guys will just have to let me know how you feel about this once it's over, but I thought this would be a good way to do some mini product reviews while I go through what I'm doing. Some of the stuff I've used before and some of the stuff is first impression. I already moisturized my skin. I'm using a matte foundation today, so I don't need to use a mattifying primer because I do not want to make my skin look overly dry, but just to give it a boost of hydration and just a little something extra before I move forward in this process, I'm going to take the Pixi Vitamin makeup mist and spray this all over my skin just to give it a nice glowy dewy base to apply my matte foundation on that way I have the benefits of the matte foundation in terms of helping me with my oil production and lasting all day but it won't be a totally flat lifeless finish I've also gone ahead and prepped my lips for my lipstick that I'm going in with later, which I do pretty much all day, every day. I'm obsessed with lip balm. This is the Aquaphor Lip Repair. I have mentioned this in a favors video before, and it is from the drugstore. For my foundation, I'm going in with one of my absolute favorites in the world, not just from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm really hoping this is going to match. My sunless tanner is like on the way out the door for the week and I'm going to have to reapply soon. This is the color 130 Buff Beige. They do have a pretty decent shade selection, I have to say. This is a really nice coverage. I would say it's a good medium to full coverage, but you can definitely build it up. It's not too heavy. It's not too thick. It's not too cakey, but it definitely does last on the skin pretty much all day. Sometimes I wear this to the gym if I'm in the situation that I'm in right now where my face and my body are two very different colors. And when I leave the gym, it has not left me. So I'm just going to apply this all over my skin using a damp beauty blender. I'm not going to put a lot of this around my eye area because I am going to add a bit of a color corrector and then go over that with my foundation after I apply it. But I kind of forgot about that stuff. I don't know why because lately my dark circles have been so intense so once I put that on um, I will cover that up with my foundation just to cancel out any darkness to kind of help aid in the concealing of my horrible dark circles which you might not be able to see on camera but I assure you they exist. Now that I've applied a layer of foundation I've avoided mostly my eye area. I'm going to take the Catrice Camouflage Cream in the shade Wake Up Effect. It's a nice peach concealer that's going to help brighten up the under eye area. I think that's obviously already a really big difference. For concealer, I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I have like been aware of these things for a very, very long time. I've just never picked them up, but my Ulta that I have nearby recently started carrying them, so I was able to actually try to determine which shade would be good for me. In front of me, I have Light Ivory in the color Natural. I might have to mix these together. I have never used these before, so I am interested to see how it's gonna go. I'm gonna start off with the color Natural, and if I want to lighten it up a little bit more, I will add a touch of the color ivory. For sure, a very, very creamy pigmented product. I'm just going to start blending it in and see how it goes. Definitely got a nice finish to it. It's not cakey. It's not drying. So for me, natural is basically the same color as my skin. So I am going to go ahead and take a little bit of the ivory color just to kind of add a little bit more brightness to this area and to highlight the center of my face like I always do when I'm doing my foundation. I'm impressed with this and these are really affordable. I want to say that they were like five bucks. So looking in the mirror right now at myself, I don't feel like this con this concealer. <laughs> I don't feel like this concealer is very brightening on me. Um, it kind of still, even going in with the ivory shade, looks like it's the same color as my foundation. So it could be a matter of me just not picking the right shade for myself. But that's not a big deal. 
Hopefully we can kind of make it look a little bit brighter as we move forward. I do want it to be a little bright in the areas that I selected today because I'm going in with a dark eye and a dark lip and having some bright and lightness to the face will kind of make everything look a little bit more balanced and clean. To set my under eye area and the rest of the areas of my face that I highlighted, I'm going in with the NYX HD Finishing Powder. This is in the color Banana. I don't typically go, typically go for yellow toned powders as I am not a yellow toned person, but this was kind of all they had. And it's not really a stark yellow powder at all. It just has a tiny hint of a slight yellowy golden tone to it. So I'm just going to take this on a Wayne Goss flat brush number 12. It's flat here on the side so I can use it to just kind of pick up this powder and lightly press it in the areas that I would like to set. So my first impression of this powder is that it's very finely milled, it's very soft, and it's not looking particularly chalky or too drying on the areas that I've applied it, which is pretty cool. To lightly set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Catrice Cosmetics Nude Illusion Loose Powder. This is a really, um, I don't even know how to describe the texture of this. This is a very, very, very finely milled translucent powder. I'm going to use this to set the rest of my face lightly in the areas that I applied foundation. Because it's a mattifying foundation, I don't need to go too crazy with this. And this is a lot less about setting it than it is about giving the rest of my powder product something of a similar consistency and texture to blend into. I'm going to take my It Cosmetics, I don't even know what this is called, the... Skin Perfecting Brush, I use this all the time to apply powder. I'm just gonna dig my brush into that, get it nice and deep into the barrel, if you will, <laughs> the hairs of the brush, tap off the excess, and lightly press it into the rest of my skin. This is a really nice um, velvety powder. Uh, it's not changing the color of anything I'm putting on top of it, which is always a plus when you're looking for a translucent powder. It's not, it doesn't feel very dry or patchy, and it's not chalky either, so, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. This is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the color 022 Sun Bronze. I don't like super deep dark bronzes, so this one looked like a good option for me. And I'm gonna take that on my Wayne Goss number 11 brush, just working it all around the perimeter of my skin, just, just to kind of warm up and liven up the areas around my face. So this bronzer is not the easiest thing in the world to blend. It's definitely doable, but I do like the color of it a lot. It is a very nice natural bronzer, but you can kind of see like right here, no, like right here, it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's not being the easiest to blend. I might just have to give it a little bit extra TLC to get it nice and smooth. Two more days till fall. Oh, so happy. Summer took forever. For contour, I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. I'm not gonna lie, at first glance, none of these contour shades inspire a whole lot of confidence in me. Um, I've kind of swatched and played around with this, and I feel like this is the only color that I'm gonna actually like. But at the same time, it's important to keep in mind that when it comes to contour shades with me, I'm very particular. I'm never done looking for the perfect contour shade, and I typically prefer ones that have a little bit of a pinky gray tone to it, and these are very, very brown. I'm going to take this color here, on the outside right beneath the white shade in the palette. I'm gonna take my Wayne Gross 02 brush, just kind of lightly get her up in there. The consistency is nice. It's not a whole lot of kickback, but I am gonna tap off the excess. And cross your fingers, everybody. All right. <laughs> I can work with this. I'm just not gonna take this in very far because it's definitely a darker shade of contour than I would normally go in with, but if you use a light hand with it and blend it out, like, it's not a bad shade. So far, so good. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to brows. This takes forever, so I'm really not gonna show you the entire process from beginning to end. I'll just show you me trying out these products. I have the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. I'm going to brush my brows up. Start trying out this color right here, and if I feel like I need to warm it up a little bit, I might add a bump of this, like just a smidgen. Um, but I don't know. So I'll have to see how they actually perform on my brows. 
So that's the powder portion of my eyebrow done. And as far as the formula of this goes, it's pretty nice. Um, it is a little bit stiffer of a formula than what I've been using. With this being a little bit stiffer, you're just gonna have to work a little bit slower with it if you don't wanna get too harsh, but it's not a bad product at all. For my brow pencil, I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Micro Brow Pencil. I've talked about this before. It was actually in a favorites video of mine last year. It's a really good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Whisk. I really just use the pencil to kind of define the tip of my brow. All right, I'm just gonna turn the camera off really quick and go ahead and finish my other brow and I'm gonna apply my eyeshadow primer and I will come back and we will start our glamorous false smoky eye situation as well. <laughs> Coffee, sorry if I'm being annoying. Go in with the Pixie and it's Judy Time palette for sure. And I'm probably also gonna be going in with a bit of the Shan XO and BH Cosmetics palette because this red brown color is exactly what I'm looking for in this life right now. This light pink transition color, it's like a pinky neutral, brown, like it reminds me a lot of soft brown from MAC, for example. And I'm just gonna take that on a fluffy brush. This is a Smith 232 and just kind of see what happens with girls. Getting nervous about fallout, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of that Catrice Nude Illusion powder and just put a little bit here underneath my eye to catch any fallout. That way it doesn't mess up my makeup. I don't normally do eyes after complexion, and this is why. I'm gonna work one eye at a time just for the ease of speeding the video along. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this red shade from the Shan XO BH Cosmetics palette, taking that on a Smith 235 brush. Making sure to tap off my excess. Ooh. This is nice. I'm gonna bounce around a little bit from palette to palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take this deep chocolatey brown shade right here from the It's Judy Time palette, and on that, I'm going to be going in with a MAC 230 or 221. I can't read it anymore. I rubbed the color completely, or I rubbed the number completely off. I'm just gonna start using this to create some depth out here. The lid color I'm planning on going in with is a darker lid color. So typically the darker my lid color is gonna be, the darker I make the outer corner of my eye because in my opinion, it just gives a nice gradient effect, which as a result makes my eyes look not quite so flat and squinty. But if you have bigger eyes or a more pronounced round um, shape to your eye, you can really kind of adjust this a little bit more easily for you and you don't have to go quite so hamburgers with the dark outer corner to get the appearance of a nice round open eye. Does that make sense? That makes sense. I'm so ready for like these vampy extra extra ass fall makeup looks you know these are my favorites and this as far as I'm concerned is going to be one of my favorite makeup products of all time. This is the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. If this bad boy doesn't scream sexy fall goodness to you, I don't think anything ever will. I think I'm going to end up mixing a couple colors. I think I want to mix this one with one of these more yellowy copper shades to get the color that I want. Use several of these, I'm not sure, but the formula overall of these shadows is just in freaking sane. Really, really beautiful and cool. These are all baked shadows. They're gorgeous. Enough about that. Moving on. I have these Catrice Cosmetics. These are the liquid metal long lasting cream shadows. They're really, really pretty. And instead of using a concealer to kind of help cut my crease today, I'm going to use one of these shadows. It's a really nice reflective metallic formula. And it'll just give the colors that I'm going in with on the rest of my lid just something a little more to pop with. But you don't even have to do that. Like I said, these are these shadows are really pigmented and gorgeous on their own. I just wanted to kind of cut my crease a little and I don't want to use that concealer that I was using because I don't know how it'll work and I don't want to mess up. I'm going to use this one. This is the color Champagne Shower and I will start using that to kind of cut my crease a little bit.
I'm going to start off with this color right here in the top corner called Anti-Gravity. And I'm just going to take that on a flat brush. This is my, nat my MAC. I can't read the numbers anymore. <laughs> it's just a really flat, stiff brush. Little bit of the color Wavelength right here. And I'm just going to tap that right on top just to see if I can give it a little bit more of a coppery gold feel. I'm gonna take the very, very dark shade right here on the outer corner of the Shan XO BH Cosmetics palette, which reminds me a lot of Coconut Grove, which is like one of my favorite colors in the entire world. I'm just gonna use this to deepen up that outer corner just a little bit more. Um, when I get to the bottom lash line and all that stuff, that's more really bring the smoky effect. But I'm a sucker for a full blown balls to the wall, tits deep, smoky eyes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Moment of truth I'm gonna dust this powder away. Hopefully, it's not gonna be a bad situation. I'm gonna take my Wayne Goss airbrush. Come on, big guy, don't let me down. Yay! No fallout. Um, we have a little bit right here in the corner of my eye, but I don't care because I'm gonna end up smoking that part of my eye out anyway. Even better news, letting that Catrice powder sit on my skin for as long as I did did not alter the shade of my concealer and it didn't get cakey or gross looking can happen if you don't use a well formulated um loose powder <laughs> for that part of your makeup okay so i'm just gonna take this nice little shimmery pink color right here in the center to highlight my brow bone Woohoo! all right I'm going to use the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Liner in the Waterproof Formula. This stuff is no joke. <laughs> I actually was testing this stuff out the other day and I just drew a little squiggle of this on the back of my hand and it did not come off until I washed it off. Like, it's a no joke serious eyeliner. I'm just going to use this to create a thin line to help with the blending of my false lashes once I move into that. Not doing a wing, just a little liner just to anchor my lashes moving forward in this process. Curling lashes, applying mascara. This is the Catrice Glam and Doll False Length Mascara. This mascara, um, I don't know if any of you guys have really uh, short my lashes aren't like super short, but I don't have thick lashes. And sometimes if I use a mascara with a brush that is too big, it just clunks them all together and it kind of gets the mascara all over my eyelid. So this is a really nice brush and it really does grip on and kind of comb through those lashes as you apply it. It is not a bad gig. My lashes today, I'm going in with the Eyelore Luxe Lashes in the style Gilded. I will say hands down 110,000% my favorite affordable or drugstore eyelashes are Eyelore Lashes. Um, my favorite though are from this collection, this is the Luxe Collection. They have kind of like a faux synthetic um, mink effect, like they're really fluffy, very textury and PC, wispy, look like real hair as opposed to like a more synthetic blend. Um, all of the Vegas Nay lashes that they came out with really good. And then in the original collection that they have, there's also some really good standouts there. See, these are just really, really soft and they just have a really nice, like look at that, that's gorgeous. I'm just gonna pop these on. Okay, while I'm waiting for my eyelash glue to dry, I'm just gonna take the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette. This is a, another really, really good option for a drugstore product. None of the palettes I had in front of me had a matte black, and I just wanna deepen this outer corner out just a smidgen more. So I'm just gonna take this dark black, dark black, hello. I'm gonna take this black matte in the outer corner and just pop a little bit in the outer corner of my eye. I'm not good at talk throughs. I hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs>
Okay, now that that's done, obviously these are big and bodacious lashes, so we need a big and bodacious lash line to go along with it. I'm gonna begin the process of smoking out my bottom lash line. I figure just in the interest of showing you guys a few affordable options, I will go ahead and do the lash line using the Sonia Kashuk Eyes on Matte Palette. I'm gonna use mostly this red color and this dark brown color right here and the black color. I'll start off with the red shade just to kind of warm up the bottom lash line area. I will then move in with this dark brown shade and lastly the black which I will use to smoke out my eyeliner that I'm gonna add as well. The eyeliner I'm gonna go in with is the Catrice Cosmetics Cole Kajal Eyeliner. It's just a black. I'm gonna work this into my waterline and then start slowly smudging it in between my bottom lashes. Then I will take a black shadow and further smudge that out just to give me a full-blown smoky lash effect. I'm going to go ahead and do my bottom lash mascara using the same Glam and Doll False Lash Mascara from Catrice that I used on my top lashes. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my blush. The BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 Color Palette. It's got a nice array of some more neutral tone blushes, some more pink tone blushes. Um, they're mostly matte. I see a couple of shimmery shades in here. They're not too shimmery, just like a little bit of a sheen to them. I'm probably gonna mix these two colors together right here. Um, they're just really peachy neutral blushes, which is pretty much what I'm into. Wayne Goss number 14 brush. This is just what I've been enjoying using for blush lately. It gives a nice wash of color, and I'm literally just taking my brush and just kind of getting up in there. Highlighter, I have two highlighting powders here from Catrice. This is the Stardust highlighting powder and this is the Champagne Campaign highlighting powder. The Stardust one is more pink, the Champagne one is more gold. I'm probably going to try, I don't know which one, to, I'm going to use the champagne one first and see how I feel. I can already tell this isn't going to be a super like in your face Nancy Grace highlighter, which is fine because I don't prefer that type of highlighter anyway. And I'm going to use my Sigma FO3 to do this. I actually like this. It's not the frostiest highlight in the world, which like I said, if you watch any of my videos, you know I don't like that anyway, but what I do like about it is it really just like melts into the skin and it looks like your, your actual skin is the thing that's really glowing, not the highlighter, which is a personal preference for me, like I said. Like that ba bam highlighter, you could definitely build it up. I just don't, I just don't like that look, so I'm not gonna. Lastly, I'm going to take the Catrice Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray to set my makeup. Oh, it smells really good. Ooh. I like, I like that. Wow. I like this stuff, man. I am happy. Trees Long Lasting Lip Pencil in the color Barry, Barry Sinford. I think it would be like a darker color if my lips weren't like super coated in um, lip balm right now, which is usually how I do my lips whenever I'm doing a liquid lip. Um, I wear a lot of lip balm before I get the process started so that my lips don't get too dry. I think I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the color... I literally can't read this because I'm going blind. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in with this over top of my lips. So this formula is nice. Uh, I do have to go in to get it completely opaque, but it's not getting patchy or streaky in the process. That's pretty. So as I was applying it, um, it did get a little bit streaky here in the center of my mouth. But if I'm being totally honest, like, I don't think I have any dark, excuse me, that was my dog. I don't think I have any dark liquid lipsticks that don't do that. Darker formulas are just a little bit trickier um, as a whole. But this is a, I like this. I'm going to wear this a lot. I don't think... I'm 99.9% .9 sure I don't have a color like this. Um, it is a little bit dry feeling on the lips, but I mean, it's just the price you pay for a liquid lipstick. So I would give this a B, B plus, A minus area. I, I do like this a lot. I wish I could tell you what the color is though. It either says lost or lust, um, but I'll obviously leave in the down bar.
Alright guys, that's the end of my fall affordable makeup tutorial, complete with mini reviews. Um, I get nervous trying products for the first time on camera, and especially, especially products that I'm not familiar with. The highlighter, even though it's probably not reading on camera the way that it's reading in person, but it's a really... It's a unique formula, and like I said, the people who like to, you know, glow to the gods or whatever might not be into it, but I just like a more like ethereal it looks like I'm actually glowing not my highlighter look and this is just this is really pretty I don't know if you can see it and also I can put it right here um, in areas that I have more texture and it's not accentuating my texture I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this is my pledge to do more affordable makeup tutorials in the future because this was actually a lot of fun for me. Also, let me know if you enjoyed the more chit-chat kind of style of this as opposed to doing a voiceover situation. I feel like this would have been a much shorter video if I didn't do a chatty thing the whole time, but I did want to kind of tell you guys how I was feeling with the products as I was using them. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. All the information is down in the drop box below. Don't forget to subscribe! Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on all my social media platforms if you're feeling squirrely. All right, guys, that's it for me. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.